All right, here we are looking at the lolly machine. So there's a, a video here that's going to outline how to draw this shape. So I'll run through the measurements on this video. You may have a printout of some measurements, but you can follow along and draw what you need to draw. So in this, we're going to look at drawing the upright, the base, and the next upright. This will be a couple of minute video. So here we are on Fusion 360. The first thing we need to do is save. So we'll make sure we call this. We'll call this our lolly machine. Uh, there we go. Same in the project. So here we go. Now, everything we draw on Fusion, we want to make sure we draw as a component. So, the first thing we're going to do is to create a new component. If you forget to do this, we can try and convert it into a component once you've drawn it. But the best practice is to start to draw everything as a component and I'll name it. So, this is going to be side. We'll say OK. So now that we've made a component, it's in our tree, lolly machine. We're now drawing inside one. We're going to start sketching. Now I'm going to draw the side of our lolly machine. A couple of steps here. We draw a rectangle to start with. Using your keyboard, letter D, click and drag up, and we'll type in the number 90 because that's how wide it needs to be. And our piece is going to be 300. Click on Finish Sketch may not be able to see what you've just drawn so if you click on the picture of the house you can now see that entire side and the material that we're going to use this year is 16 millimeter thick so we've started drawing there is our first side okay so now that we've drawn this side we want to look at putting in the two trenches one will be for the acrylic and one will be for the plywood so we've turned this into the isometric view so if you turn it around you can't quite see things remember you click on that picture of the house it gives you that good isometric view so we're now going to look at sketching and we're going to sketch on the top and grab that again just make sure that it orientates in a good particular way so we're looking at drawing on the top and i'm going to zoom in and it wants to orientate off the datum so you see how we have the datum there so as I draw, I'm going to click, I'll drag to the right, and all my measurements will start from that datum point. So what I mean by that, if I draw this little square here and I click, I then go to the dimension tool, grab the letter D, grab that and type in six, and I grab the side of that and call it three. I will grab the edge to the far side, and I'll make that 19 millimeters. And now that's made that little rectangle that I'm after. If I draw this on that right hand side and I try and dimension this and call it five, it's dragging to the side. I need that different this time. That's fine. So here we have that first little rectangle we want to see. And we'll do this as two separate for this. We can do it as one. If I now press the picture of the house, grab the extrude tool. Might be a bit hard to see from afar, so you might grab just that little section extrude just that bit there minus 300 and then we have that little groove that we're after if we turn our piece of timber around there's our groove we actually still need to do another section so we'll zoom out i'll zoom back in we're going to grab our little rectangle press the letter d call it six mil letter d three mil from the side to the edge, drag it across 19 mil and enter. Finish sketch. I don't need to change the orientation. I can just click on that little piece when it highlights the right way. So we're looking at extrude. Click on that minus 300, and I've now got my side. I need to do one little hole as well so again i'm going to sketch i'm going to find the center grab the circle tool sometimes you might not see these shapes you've got to press that triangle down to find it the circle is pretty common will always be there and i want this hole to be 40 mil we want to orientate it from the top down 125 and we want to make sure it's in the center so if we grab the center of it and the edge we know that our piece of timber is 45 millimeters Therefore, the center, sorry, our whole piece of timber is 90 millimeters, so our center will be 45. Once we've drawn that, 
we grab our extrude tool, find our circle, and we can say minus 16 millimeters. And we've now drawn the side of our long machine. 